So there's a it looks like a house but it's like made out of rocks mm -hmm. a house made out of rocks very good yeah describe it for me what does it look like it feels like cement like almost like um, um, it's like a different structure from the houses that are built now mm -hmm. It almost feels like I'm in a place like Athens, mm -hmm. you know, like where they have the white uh, structures yes. home, mm -hmm. and they're all made out of some sort of cement. Mm -hmm. And um, so, as you're looking at the structure, I want mm -hmm. you to focus on the observer of the structures, and tell mm -hmm. me if the observer has a body there within these structures. Mm. Take a look at your feet. Uh, Do you have a physical body? Or is you just an observer? Um, I, it feels like a male body. A male but, body. Very yeah. good. Well, take a look at your feet. Look uh. down. What do you see when you look down? Mm. Mm. What's the first impression that you get? I think I'm not wearing any shoes. No shoes. Very okay. good. So focus on the rest of the body. Mm. What do you imagine? I can't make out a shape, but it looks like a male body. Mm -hmm. Very good. And this male body, is it a young body that you have or an older it body? It feels older. All right. Yeah. Very good. So let's see what it is that you're doing there. Look around you. What else do you see? Mm. I walk in and... You walk, walk into the house? <laughs> yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a table and... Nothing looks, everything looks from another time. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to describe it from this time. I want you to acclimate yourself completely mm -hmm. there. I want you to see it through the eyes mm -hmm. of this body. What do you see? You see a table? Is there anything on this table? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's... Some candles. Candles, very good. Are these candles lit? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many do you see? Three. Mm -hmm. What else do you see there? And everything looks very clean in place. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> like a, a, a woman mm -hmm. with. Um, it looks like one of those dresses, like, Describe expanded, mm -hmm. round, mm -hmm. and almost way out of the waist. Yes. What color is this dress? There's white and burgundy. Mm -hmm. What does this woman look like? Take a look at her hair. Mm. It's brown hair mm -hmm. with curls and it's wrapped with this white cloth. Is her it's hair up? Sorry. It's up. Mm -hmm. it's just a few curls up, but yes. it's mostly up. What is she doing? What do you see her doing? She's asking me if I want something to eat. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> good. Mm. It feels like she's cooking something on the mm -hmm. on the stove. Mm -hmm. Can you smell what she's cooking? What does it smell like? What 
comes to mind? It's like potatoes and some red, maybe tomatoes in there mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. And onions. Mm-hmm. Mm. Onions and vinegar. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. So who is this woman to you? Feels like she is my wife. Mm-hmm. You will know it. <laughs> so let's find out what happens next. What happens that's important? Is there anything interesting that's going on in this moment? Mm. Mm. Nothing is really happening, just like regular stuff. Very good. House. All right, so I'd like for you now to close that scene. And we're now going to move to another scene in that same lifetime when something very important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? Daytime or nighttime? Mm. I feel like there's a birth of a child. Mm-hmm. Um, is there a nighttime? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So what's happening? Who is this child? Uh, she's it's like giving it's labor, mm-hmm. and uh, there is screaming and. Um, there is a, a midwife. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, oh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a girl. It's a girl. Mm hmm. So how are you feeling there as the observer of this? Mm-hmm. Good, mm-hmm. happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what happens next? I'm carrying the baby mm-hmm. and she's happy and I'm happy. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, It's a beautiful moment to have a baby. Very good. So now I'd like for you to close this scene and let's now go to the next important scene from that lifetime. Something that's happening to affect your life. Be there now. What's happening? Where are you? I want to see what's happening. Mm-hmm. You'll know what's happening. Use your emotions. Connect with them. I feel like the baby's dying. <laughs> Describe what's happening. How old is the baby? Feels like it's a young baby, mm-hmm. still. Mm-hmm. A baby. The baby's sick. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's very painful to. To know that the baby is dying mm-hmm. for her and for me. Mm-hmm. What are you feeling towards this right now? Mm-hmm. What emotions are you feeling? Having to let go mm-hmm. of this baby that we love. So allow yourself to go through this and see what happens with this baby. 
Mm. What happens next? She can't let go of it. She pretends she has a baby. Mm-hmm. How does that affect you? Mm-hmm. Yes. It makes me sad. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. She's sad. Mm-hmm. Without the baby. And she continues to have her mm-hmm. like a doll of mm-hmm. some sort. Does she have the actual baby or a doll? It's a doll. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like she's not herself. Mm-hmm. It's like she is with this doll Mm -hmm. in her thoughts. How does that affect your relationship? She's distant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like she's not there. Mm -hmm. I just don't feel a connection. All right. So let's close that scene, disconnect from that scene, and let's move forward in that same lifetime to the next important moment, the next event that affects your life. How are you? I'm seeing a desert. Like... Egypt or some sort. Mm -hmm. Are you in the same body? Um... You know the difference. It's a woman. All right. Body. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Where are you? Um, it just feels like I'm, I have ancient Mm -hmm. makeup, like black eyes and something on my head and... Mm -hmm. What's on top of your head? Take a look and see. Mm -hmm. Touch it and see what it is. Mm. Is it fabric or metal? What is on it? It feels like it's metal. Mm-hmm. Like it's cold and not really that heavy, but it, it sits heavy, like um, like some sort of structure. Mm-hmm. Um, and I see stripes on it, mm-hmm. and. Um, there's snakes Mm -hmm. or the shape of a snake Mm -hmm. and are these ornaments on this? yeah Mm -hmm. Um, very tan skin Mm -hmm. and slender body and how are you dressed? Take a look at your body. Is there anything on your body? It's like a golden dress. Mm-hmm. Thin. And How long is the strap? Trip? It's not long. Mm-hmm. I can see my legs. I kind of like wearing like short. Mm-hmm. And 
the sandals, very open, like light stuff. Mm-hmm. And you say it had straps on it too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Let's take a look at your hand and see if you're carrying anything. Mm. No, I have a lot of rings on. Mm-hmm. Mm. My hands look nice. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. So now that you acclimate yourself to that body, let's find out how old that body is. Mm. What comes into your mind? Uh, 2,459. Mm-hmm. Is that how old you are? <laughs> Mm-hmm. How old I am mm-hmm. there? Mm-hmm. I am 39. 39, very good. Now the number 2,459. I want you to follow that number and tell me where that number comes from. Is that from your calendar? I... Uh, I believe so. Mm -hmm. And I want you to take a look and see where it is that you are. I'd like for you first to see what planet you are and what location. Zoom in. Just your first impression. What does this place feel like? I feel like it's some place on Earth. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, and it's just very dry there. Very dry, very good. And it looks like a hint of yellow everywhere, like a warm color. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. When you're in this place, are you by yourself or are there others around you? Take a look and see what is around you. Mm-hmm. There is um, there is a lot of people, mm-hmm. although not in where I'm, I'm walking right now. There's, it looks very plain, um, but there is in the distance like people working mm-hmm. or doing things. Very good. Mm -hmm. So let's go now to the place where you live. I'd like for you to close the scene and go now to the place where you live in that lifetime. Be there now and tell me what you experience. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Um... I'm walking through some it's like sand. I'm walking in sand. Mm-hmm. But I'm walking somewhere it's like I haven't gotten home. Mm-hmm. And I see on my right and my left a small it's like a village. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking and tell me about this village who's there just different people and they um they know me i'm their friend Mm -hmm. but it feels like i don't belong there but i yet i'm there like i am i help them Mm -hmm. or i shouldn't be there because they're not part of my tribe or Mm -hmm. so I'd like for you to listen for your name now Mm. listen for your name as they call out Isabel Mm -hmm. when I say the name Isabel does that resonate with you very good so let's find out Isabel what it is that you're doing there they love me Mm -hmm. I help them. How do you help these people? (laughs) 
I love them. I love them no matter who they are. Mm-hmm. What do you do for them? I think people see them as lesser mm-hmm. or not. Don't value their heart. Yes. I do. Mm-hmm. Do you dress like them, Isabel? Take a look. I see their heart. Mm. But you don't look like them, do you? No. How do they dress? They have rags. Mm-hmm. And But you see their heart, not their rags. No. Yes. I smile at them and they smile back at me. Mm-hmm. Do you give or receive anything from them? Let's find out. Hmm. It seems like they won't. They always want to give me stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't need it, but I take it. Mm-hmm. What kind of things do you have today? <laughs> things that they make. Mm-hmm. How does that feel to receive that from them? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Craft stuff they make. Yes. They make a lot of beautiful stuff. Mm-hmm. I love it. So let's continue and see where it is that you live, Isabel. Continue walking. Where is your home? It doesn't feel right, but it's a big, beautiful space. Mm -hmm. Describe the space for me. designs all over the floors and and it it feels like it's like a pyramid shape mm-hmm. uh, uh, golden and mm, so much uh, but plain not too much it's just a beautiful structure. Mm-hmm. What's it made out of? It's just so shiny. It feels like golden mm-hmm. everywhere. Um, the pyramid is made out of gold? Yeah, it has gold, yes, inside. Mm-hmm. It just feels like, yes, like. Some sort of metal, metallic structure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And do you see any furniture inside? You said it was very plain. Take a look and see what's inside as you walk through your home. Mm -hmm. Um, Yes, there's cushions and... mm, Yes, comfortable stuff, mm-hmm. like... On the floor? Doesn't feel... Yeah, it's like on the floor. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. So as you walk through this structure, let's find out if anybody lives there with you. Allow yourself to see if there's anybody mm-hmm. there. There is a strong man. A strong man. Mm-hmm. Isabel, who is this strong man? He is... He feels like he's just... He's a ruler of some sort. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I get a good feeling, like he has a good heart, he just... So connect with him mind to mind, Mm -hmm. soul to soul, you will be able to feel his heart and know Mm -hmm. who he is. Who is he to you? (laughs) Do you recognize him? Mm. (sighs) 
What is the relationship that you have with him? He is my partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you call him? What do I call him? Mm. Different name. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap your forehead and activate that third eye, and you'll be able to get the information. Bring it in. You'll see it, even written if it needs to be. You'll see what it is. H A Horace? Mm -hmm. Is that what they call him? Horace? Horace. Mm -hmm. What does Horace look like? <laughs> he has like an Egyptian hat, mm -hmm. also metal structure, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. very masculine looking and strong, mm -hmm. and um, and structure on his head the lines match mine kind of like stripes uh -huh. but uh, there's also a, like a serpent too mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> He looks at me with a lot of love mm -hmm. and like he looks up to me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel with him? Um, what do you get when you're around him? I feel good with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like he listens to me and I... Mm, even though he's stubborn, he listens. He, like I know he does. Mm -hmm. Now you said that Horace was a ruler. Yes. Do you rule with him? Yes, it feels like I'm next to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Isabel, I'd like for you now to close that scene. We're going to close that scene and mm -hmm. move forward in time and space mm -hmm. to the next important event in that same lifetime mm -hmm. when something is happening that is affecting your life. Be there now. Mm. Where are you? Mm. Um, I am overlooking a whole bunch of people, and it feels like someone's going to be killed or sacrificed. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. This is not... I don't like it. Do you recognize the one that's being sacrificed? Hello. happening I don't know why he's being <sighs> killed what happens next follow mm -hmm. it through see what happens <sighs> what happens next uh I'm telling him to that we need to stop this. <sighs> that this is not right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell me the conversation as you have it with him. What does he say? This is what the people want. 
they want justice um, and there's just another way I tell him um, why are people routing for this I don't know I don't understand it makes no sense mm -hmm. Are these the same people that love you so much? Or are these different people? It feels like a different crowd. Mm -hmm. It's not the same crowd. Uh, it's not... I don't feel they're there. I feel like the people... This He belongs to the people I love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Accelerate this scene and see what happens. It's a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. People are just taking it the wrong way. Uh, there's envy. It's like two groups of people. Mm -hmm. Two different groups. Uh, one so noble and one so angry. This is how they solve issues. They blame each other or pick on the good people. Mm -hmm. mm. So I can see the truth. Yes, tell me what that truth is. How does mm. that change things? Mm. Mm. I say, I speak, and I say no. What happens next? I stop it. <laughs> yes, I do. He listens to me. He was reluctant first, but he listens. Very good. So now that that has solved itself with your decision, let's move on to another important mm -hmm. event in that same lifetime. Close the scene now and go to the next important scene. Mm -hmm. Same scene that defines your lifetime. Be there now. Walking in the same, in the same village again. Mm -hmm. Is this at the same time? Or are you older? Mm -hmm. Um, it's during the same time. Okay. And as you walk through this village, what happened? up to me. Has something changed in the way that you feel as you walk through this village? I feel that I did something that was good for everyone. For everyone and it was like justice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. The last day of your life. Be there now. Check in with your body and tell me how old do you feel there? Eighty-three. Mm -hmm. Take a look around you and see where you are.
are you? I'm in a bed, mm -hmm. very comfortable bed. He's holding my hands. Mm -hmm. mm. Are you in the same place? Mm. It's, yeah, it's like big room, comfortable. Mm -hmm. mm. I look at him, he looks at me. We did it. Do you feel your life has been successful? Yes. Very good. So I'd like for you now to take your last breath in that lifetime, allowing your body to detach, allow your soul to leave that body behind, and tell me what you see as you leave that body behind. What do you see? Peaceful. Mm -hmm. A lot of love. Mm. Where do you go? Mm. Where do you feel that you are going? Like another planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything that you see along the way. Mm, a lot of space and stars. Mm -hmm. It's getting colder and blue. Mm -hmm. Where is this blue coming from? Mm. It's like. Hmm. Is this blue something physical? It's like a shade of blue. Yes. Where do you see this shade of blue? All around. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Hmm. Mm. What do you experience? It's like a planet. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone looks a shade of blue, mm -hmm. tall, but it, it feels like, like part animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell, me, <laughs> tell me what you, what they look like. Kind of like. Cat, lion, mm -hmm. looking. Yes. Um. There, I feel their tails and. <laughs> mm hmm. And their skin is blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they have any any hair or fur, or is it soft? It's a little soft, furry mm -hmm. type. Very good. Mm -hmm. Do they wear any clothes? No. Mm -hmm. No clothing. Can you tell genders when you look at them? Are they male or female? Yeah. How you can tell. Mm -hmm. Just females look slender and the male looks heavier and... Mm -hmm. Yes. So as you're looking at these people, from what perspective do you see them? Are you on the ground or above them? I feel like I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. I feel I'm looking, I'm a female. Yes. Um, <laughs> they're like welcoming home mm -hmm. and hugging me. And mm -hmm. um, Who are they to you? They're a family. Mm, very good. Look at your hands. What do your hands look like? Um, they look like hands. Mm -hmm. 
but furry. Mm-hmm. And they're blue? Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's see a little bit about your family. How do you communicate with them? It's like we know. Mm-hmm. We look at each other and our expressions mm-hmm. are enough. Yes. We can hear each other mm-hmm. without talking. All right. So what do you hear as you're with these this group? Mm-hmm. Well, they're saying I did well. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like I was on a mission. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was this mission? Um, it was a mission of strength, of courage, of standing on my ground. I keep seeing this lion. Um, saying, like, breaking boundaries, Mm -hmm. stepping up and doing things Mm -hmm. that were not acceptable or against the norm. Um, As a woman Mm -hmm. and I had a great deal of courage and persistence and determination. How do you feel about your mission? I feel good. Mm-hmm. Very good. I feel really good and I feel like love. Like he was loving, Mm -hmm. even though it was difficult, it was out of love for the people that didn't have people to stand up for them, for themselves. Very good. So now that you are on this planet, what do you call this planet? Does it have a name? Planet Earth? Mm-hmm. Oh, the yeah. planet where you are, with the blue planet. Oh. Does that planet have a name? Uh, Sirius? Mm-hmm. Sirius? Sirius? Mm-hmm. Something like that, Sirius. All right, and since you're on this planet, do you have a home in this planet with this family? Um, what do you feel? Yeah, there's a home in this planet. All right. Mm. Let's find out where it is. Is this a physical place? Take a look and see. It just feels like I can see the sky. It's almost like you can see other planets from here. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have very different from Earth. Very plain. Um, Describe it for me. How is it that you can see other planets? It, It just... Is it through technology that you could see? There is some technology of some sort because there is like a... I can't even describe it. It's like a sphere, like a stand on the ground, round, and we can look into other planets, but I can also see planets if I look up. Like I can see them in the distance, like other locations. Mm -hmm that 
um, we can connect to or that we can choose to go to uh, we can choose to go to different planets and they can see <coughs> through this fear or I should say technology that it's very advanced um, it's almost like seeing 3D on this stand and honing in to specific people or locations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see what specific people or locations you can hone in on today. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're looking at? Um, so, uh, I can look through here. Okay, he's showing me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess, um, we can pick we can pick a person or anybody mm -hmm. um, that we want and what, <laughs> Weird. Do you, what do you do once you connect with them um, they don't like to interfere but they can help mm -hmm. how do they help So, uh, let me see, maybe I can choose somebody, mm -hmm. okay, yes, uh, Let's find out how this technology works. Mm -hmm. Are you able to know about the person? Yes. Mm -hmm. I can see, feel, connect to the person. Mm -hmm. Is having difficulties connecting to his third eye. Mm -hmm. Right. And we can connect to other people mm -hmm. because we're helping. It's almost like um, sending an intuitive communication to other people around to help this one person. Yes. And when we connect with the other people, Mm. it's like they're open to receiving and that's why the synchronistic events mm -hmm. because they're open to it so they listen and they come in and they'll say something and they'll help the other person they meet them there and bring awareness it's like they're transferring awareness and our communication, mm -hmm. even if the person feels blocked or can't, we have the ability to help others mm -hmm. on a telepathic level. So now that we understand how this technology works, <laughs> how is this technology helping Vanessa? Is she connected to this planet? Mm -hmm. Or is she connected to those on the planet? Please explain how it is that Vanessa is connected to these lion type people. Mm -hmm. oh, they're everywhere. Mm -hmm. They help her all the time. Mm. How is she connected to them? Is she family? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> explain that to her. Mm. They help her by um, giving her the information that she needs at that moment she doubts she doubts 
So they give her confirmation through animals, through insects, nature, and she listens when uh, she um, it it helps her to um, connect and it helps her to be clear when she has his confirmations through animals and nature and she receives it and it gets her just a little bit closer um, to trusting. Mm -hmm. Now for the last, last 10 years she's been reading cards and in the, only in the last year has it, it been accelerating to a point where she's very fluid and she's getting better and better. What mm -hmm. is happening during these readings? Who is she connecting to? Mm. There's a high priestess. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about this high priestess? Ancestors. Mm -hmm. That see her Hmm. Her desire to help others. Hmm. They love her connection to people and nature. She smiles. Mm -hmm. So who is providing the information she is reading from other people? Is she using this technology from that planet? Is, she a three, is this a three-way conversation? It's almost like she's receiving um, direct messages mm -hmm. and um, they come from a higher source. Mm -hmm. It is her higher self, but the higher self is connected to this um, to this technology. Mm -hmm. So, are we saying that all of our higher selves are connected to this technology? Yes, is it? Everyone has access to it, mm -hmm. mm, but not everyone um, is connected. Mm -hmm because the same thing, just interference, mm -hmm. interference that need to be cleaned up. Once it's cleaned up, you can connect mm -hmm. to it. Everyone has the ability to connect. Well, she wants to connect better. Mm -hmm. How is she doing now, first of all? Let's get a report card on how she's doing. Mm. She's doing really good. She's doing just right. And everything in perfect timing she mm -hmm. gets. There's no need to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Is she doing her soul's purpose? Or is that yet to be revealed? Mm. There's more to be revealed, mm -hmm. a lot more, but right now it's just right. Mm -hmm. It's about to turn um, she's ready for it. Mm -hmm. Well, she wants to know what the rest of her gifts are. Mm -hmm. what she should be focusing on and how she can develop them. Mm -hmm. But if she doesn't even know them, are you saying that this will be revealed? She knows. We know that things happened in her past lives and you showed her a few past lives. Can you explain to me why you showed her that life where she was a man? Mm -hmm. What was that lifetime all about? Hmm. Okay. 
It was to show the loving heart of a man mm -hmm. from a man's perspective. Mm -hmm. She's always had trouble connecting and seeing how distant men can be mm -hmm. and disconnected from but yet they do feel the same thing they do have the emotion and the connection mm -hmm. um, so sometimes the, expressed differently so in that lifetime he lost his baby and he felt the disconnect with his wife mm -hmm. how has that lifetime been affecting the lifetime now of Vanessa um she feels when people are distant and disconnected. Mm -hmm. She senses it. She knows. It's like that feeling follows her. Mm -hmm. And she wants the people to open up and to show who they are and to be open and connected to each other. Mm -hmm. So she helps people to open up again and to trust and to connect so that um, they can have better relationships with friends and family and their lovers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that lifetime is affecting her in the positive, in that she now understands others, empathizes with others. She empathizes a lot with mm -hmm. others. So that was an experience that she needed in her toolkit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And then you showed her one of Isabel, the one who was the co-ruler mm -hmm. of the city. Yes. Why did you show her that lifetime? Mm. Mm. To show her her strength, mm -hmm. her ability to speak up when she needs to. A great deal of courage. How is that helping her in this lifetime? She says she wants to be a public speaker. She wants to mm -hmm. continue with her work. How is that life affecting this one? She can do anything she wants to do. Mm -hmm. She just has to believe it and allow it mm -hmm. to yeah. happen. Mm -hmm. Are there any lessons that she needs to learn in this lifetime? Mm. Let's find out what it is that she came here to do. Mm. Yes, there's um, different missions that she will be doing mm -hmm. in the distant countries. Mm -hmm. And it is through her ability to connect with people, empathize. and um, There is... An energy around her that she doesn't understand and uh, it brings it connects people around her feel it mm -hmm. um, and her presence alone helps others feel happier she's meant to go and, and meet people and and share that energy so that people are happier so she came here with that purpose with her energy yes mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. is she on the right path she's on the right path she's taken her some time to um, get there but she has stepped up and and done the right things mm -hmm. You know, this energy that she has around her, is this energy also affecting people as far as awakening? Yes. How does that affect people? Yes. Um, yes, there's many people that come to her and they don't understand why, but they it, it changes them mm -hmm. energetically. Um, it's an energy, it's a gift that she has. Mm -hmm. Um, where people sense that energy that they already have, but it connects them to it. Mm -hmm. It just helps them see it's possible. It is, it is a light. 
Very good. Mm -hmm. She had a question of what the awakening was, and that's a question that many people have. Mm -hmm. Can you describe from a higher perspective what is happening? What is this awakening, actually? Mm -hmm. The awakening is a process of disconnecting to what we've been conditioned to believe here on Earth. And it's just that a conditioning, a state of mind that holds you captive and does not allow you to shine, to show your true essence, to speak your truth, to be able to um, act on your purpose. So it's a very limiting, um, very limiting to be asleep. So the more we open up to the ability that we have within us to connect to source energy, to connect to our higher self, that ability um, just brings joy into the body, it heals, it um it unties the person. It, 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 it gives freedom to do, to be what you came here on earth to be and do. Um, but the awakening is an interesting process. It, it, you must allow the, the pain and the issues that are within yourself to arise to clean them. You cannot suppress, you cannot keep within you. It's like being full and you have to empty. You have to allow everything to come out. And then the awakening brings in all the joy, all the greatness, all the happiness. It's like allowing space for all this that it's already within you to take place mm -hmm. and um, she does that quite well helps people awaken mm -hmm. because she's able to sense the energy of where they are at mm -hmm. so she meets them there and she t she shows them the next step but through vibration they don't even know that it's happening but it is it's shifting the vibration what she's doing and then they feel it and it starts to awaken them mm -hmm. <laughs> it's almost like they want more mm -hmm. so they start to disconnect with this old version of who they thought they are mm -hmm. aware and they move into a new space mm -hmm. and this new space of love is awakening mm -hmm. it's it's who they are mm -hmm. it's their essence and they start to discover things that they had stopped doing and that they love to do and and they start removing the barriers to to um, doing and being mm -hmm. and they start to awaken more and more and it's almost like they feel being set free mm -hmm. mm. but she has to be careful because yeah they keep coming back they need to learn to do it on their own so they're using her as a crutch yes more readings and more readings but they don't mm. connect themselves mm. Mm, not even more readings they do learn through the readings okay. they do shift but there's other people, some people, mm -hmm. that come, they kind of borrow her energy, ah. but so they're so doing like, it. So this is more like vampires that yes. take her energy? Yes. Mm. So how can she protect herself from these energy uh, vampires? She has to start setting boundaries, boundaries of... Um, even though she's 
wants to be very loving and compassionate, she needs to be firm and say, you need to do this. This is what you need to do on your own mm -hmm. and start saying no. So once she starts saying no, mm -hmm. will that stop depleting her energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. She tells mm -hmm. me that her energy, she feels very tired mm -hmm. in her body. Is this part of the energy drain? Yes. Mm -hmm. It has a lot to do with, with her boundaries. She started and she's learning. Mm -hmm. She's become aware of it. She, she needs to do more of it now. Can you give her an exercise that she can use mm -hmm. to seal her from these energy vampires? Mm. An exercise that she can do, um, it's every morning. She needs to practice saying no three times in the morning. Mm -hmm. And yes, three times to herself. Very good. What will this accomplish for her? It will make her feel comfortable with um, saying no mm -hmm. and more yes to her more loving activities mm -hmm. for herself, more balance um, in her life. Good. And when she brings this balance into her life, will more of these gifts of hers be revealed? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It is what's, what's not allowing for her to uh, move to the next level mm -hmm. because she's, she needs to create the space for her. Mm -hmm. And the yeses, each yes, brings her closer to her next gift. Can you give her an example of what some of these gifts could be. Is she ready to hear that? Uh, well, she can see, she gets visions mm -hmm. of future events, uh, but she's afraid to receive them. So it'll open up her ability to see when she needs to see, hear when she needs to hear and something else it's communication there's some uh, communication hmm Show her what that communication is. It's amplifying her communication with spirits. Mm -hmm. There's spirits that want to communicate through her. Is it beneficial for spirits to communicate with her? Let's find out if there should be a filter there. Yeah, there should be a filter there. All right. Will that be the higher self that filters this? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can we make an agreement now mm -hmm. that when spirits would like to communicate with her, that they need to go through the higher self. Yes, there needs to be that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would happen if she were allow the spirits to come directly through her? It 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 would create a lot of um, disharmony and mm -hmm. and she doesn't need that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they do want to, but they. Yeah, they don't have to go directly through her. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Now, you were talking about the different places where she's going to be going. Can you tell her now about the place in which she lives? She has questions whether this is the right location for her at this time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why was she brought to this location? What's happening in that location? Uh, what does her energy yes, do there? Yes. Um, her energy does a lot there. All right. Yes. Would you show her in a picture how this energy is affecting this area? Um, it has shifted mm -hmm. many of um, there, there seems to be, um, this is a good, very good location, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of spirits, negative influences mm -hmm. that have been, um, they have been walking this, it, it's like they have been moving away, mm -hmm. but yet her energy is needed so that um, the flow, mm -hmm. the balance of it is restored. All right. Um, and <laughs> everyone, <laughs> even the birds, the peacocks, they know she's there and they <laughs> the animals and everybody w want her there mm -hmm. uh, and you had mentioned the negative spirits that are there mm -hmm. can we hone in on these spirits and see if they came on their own or were they brought there by some sort of black magic let's take a look and see mm -hmm. let's see who these are the original owner Mm -hmm. has an unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Something that she wants to, almost like her grandma wants to give her the mm -hmm. the ring. Yes. There's something in, in somewhere in the ground. Mm -hmm. And there's a healing that needs to happen. It's almost like she's doing it for the new owner. Mm -hmm. There's a healing that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Very similar All right. situation between both. And So she needs to perform a ceremony? There is a ceremony that needs to happen so that she can release... Um, so that she can release it and right. heal. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can you show her now in her mind's eye what the ceremony would look like? There's fire mm -hmm. and the rocks feels like it's behind. It's She's actually in the right spot. It's behind the, the yellow cottage. Mm -hmm. There's a pyramid there already. It's already been set up for her. Everything. She doesn't... It's just a matter of coming together mm -hmm. and... Um, <laughs> The, the stumps are already there, the wood stumps. Mm -hmm. um, and they come together. There's water too. So there needs to be a cleansing of the hands, mm -hmm. a talk, a conversation that will happen and and they write stuff on the paper mm -hmm. and they throw it in the fire very good very good mm -hmm. is there any anyone that she should request that assist her as far as in the angelic realm yes um presence is from the angelic realm is Archangel Michael, mm -hmm. Melchizedek, mm -hmm. Lady Nada, mm -hmm. Jesus, and that's it. Very good. 
Very good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Now, Vanessa has a question about the new earth and how she can align with the vibration of this new earth. Mm -hmm. She's already there. Mm -hmm. She is very happy and she wakes up in the morning and she is in a frequency very much in alignment and um, her vibration resonates mm -hmm. everywhere she goes. It's a feeling, an emotion that she carries. Mm -hmm. And it feels light. It's appreciation everywhere she goes. Mm -hmm. It's the feeling of appreciation that does it. It is being thankful everywhere she goes. She sees a leaf, she sees an ant, she sees <laughs> little creatures, and she loves them. Mm -hmm. And um, it, the only thing she needs to work on that, will, that gets her out of it is, is she connects to pain. Mm -hmm. And she needs to let go of she knows that she need everybody is on their journey but she feels the pain of others and she has to stand where she's at and allow the other person to be where they're at very good is there anything that you would advise her as far as her health is concerned she's trying to go on a better diet she's trying to lose the weight and get fit mm -hmm. it seems that her ego or something is sabotaging her uh, yes this is an energy that comes from um, from her past mm -hmm. she's been detaching from it but it it creeps she needs to be more aware all right um, it's show her a picture of this lifetime that is affecting her um it's because she doesn't like when people she she's never liked when people look at her with um, like look at her who who does she think she is it's, it's the ego mind it's a judgment it's a judgment mm -hmm. so she doesn't want to she likes looking good but she doesn't like looking where she, people are going to yeah, like, mm -hmm. look at her like she's better, or... Does she need to hold on to this? Mm -hmm. um, no, she doesn't. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to hold on to it. That's that's where other people are at. Uh -huh. and, and although she wants to have the validation, she knows that she can't have everybody like her mm -hmm. and if she's looking better and other people feel envy that's there that's where they are at mm -hmm. she like needs it. to understand that she just needs to work on her and liking her very good very mm -hmm. good is there anything else that I did not ask that you would like to tell her at this time? Mm. Mm. Uh, just that she is enough. She is on track
and just allow for things to happen when they need to happen. Very good. Thank you very much for all of your assistance. Feeling wonderful. Mm, wow. How do you feel? Very good. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you remember everything? Um, what do you remember? Yes, I do. I remember a lot. Um, How long do you think this journey was? What did it feel like to you? Let me switch these up for you. Um, How did it feel? Fast? It feels like quick, like mm -hmm. maybe 30 minutes. Mm. It's close. An hour and 50 minutes. Wow. <laughs> An hour and 50 minutes? Yeah. How, how does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Huh? We went yes. A lot of stuff. I won't know until I, I look at that's it. That's right. Like, that's right. But Egypt keeps popping up. Yeah. And um, and then a planet I was yeah. on. Mm -hmm. With lion people? Yes. Interesting, huh? And blue. Blue. I love colors. That's, Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah. I've had that before. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Definitely. Blue but lions. It, it was fun. It was like. We we're looking through a sphere, yes, and we were able to connect to people through the sphere. Yeah. The weirdest thing. <laughs> well, that's why when people ask for help, yeah, there's people out there they're helping being out there helping. So, yeah, yeah, they just love helping, and so it looks yeah. like there's a a council just helping people mm -hmm. yeah. that allow it. That's right. Uh, that are open to it. Amazing. Yeah. So you want to share some of this? Or you want to keep it private? I can share some yeah. of this. If he helps other people, yeah. I'm up for it. Yeah. So, <laughs> come on over here. You're too far away. So, tell everybody how it went. It went great. Um, it was a different experience for me. I've never done a past life regression or, mm -hmm. or this type of um, session. Yes. And it just felt very soothing, calming. I felt mm, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was. Is this what you expected? I, you know, it, no. It just, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. It was, it was like, what is this? How, where am I going to go? Am I going to uh -huh. move into? A, and it does feel like I'm, like every time, like I, when I went to a planet, yeah. it felt like I was there. I just feel like I'm there. I'm sensing. Even the people that are there, I just feel them, feel their energy. It's really weird. It's almost like you and I here. Yes. But I think that my mind is making it up, but it's not. <laughs> it's like I'm there. Yeah. Even when I went to Egypt, I just felt like I was part of that location mm -hmm. and everything was happening. It was like colors and everything. And uh, some of this has been ed edited out because we I don't put in personal information, but the uh, the parts about the uh, the baby and everything was really interesting too. You know, there was a uh, uh, something that you had to feel. Yes, uh, and it's almost like I knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. um, I always like I don't have a baby. I've never had a child, and mm -hmm. I think that had a lot to do with um, my feeling like I didn't want to go through that pain, that pain. and that yeah. uh, you know, or have the other person disconnect from me. Yes. But it has helped me in this life to connect more with people, to understand people, mm -hmm. and to love babies. I love babies everywhere I see yeah. them. It's just. I now understand part of my my yeah, and you were and you were connected very much to your higher self, and now you understand. I think that when you do your your readings, you are connecting to that. Yes. So tell everybody what it is that you do. Yes, I am an intuitive uh, um, uh, uh, counselor. Uh, you can say I do readings, and my mm. readings are. Uh, more about understanding where the person is at mm -hmm. and I meet them there and I try to bring clarity and awareness of where they're at so that they can follow me through and then we can shift the energy to be where they want to be. Mm -hmm. um, so 
I I feel like uh, now I feel <laughs> that my work is <laughs> you know <laughs> is 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 really what I should be doing. Yes. Um, it helps other people to connect to their higher selves yes. and to the, who they are truly um, and to awaken, which yes. is a, always a question that I had. Like, well, that was one of our questions. What, is, what does it mean to be awakened? And I know a lot of people have that question too, and we got a really good answer to that. Oh my goodness, that is mm -hmm. amazing yeah. that I had the, the answer already within me. And I remember uh, even coming through, it was like my higher self was was feeding the answer yeah, that's and how it, it works. flowed right out of me. That's how it works. It just flows right through you. Yes. So do you recommend this type of experience to other people? I absolutely recommend this experience if you want to connect, if you want to really become aware mm -hmm. of what's happening because it's there but you become more aware and things that you don't even know come out. That's I mean, right. That's it, right. Because she did have that question. She didn't know. She says, I don't know what the awakening is. What people, what does it mean to be awake? So we got the good answer. So you yeah. can see this is how it works. Mm -hmm. So if you want a session with me, this is what you need to do. You need to go to my website, albawyman.com, sign up for my newsletter. There is a link there that says newsletter under mm -hmm. hypnosis. And about once a month, I send out a newsletter telling you where I'm going to be having sessions, where I'm open to have sessions. It could be in Miami right now where we are, or it could be anywhere around um, the planet. Mm -hmm. And once that newsletter comes out, it books within minutes. So you have to click on the link, see where I'm going to be and schedule your session. And that's how we get to meet. All awesome. right. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this session and uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thanks. See you. Bye. Bye. Give me that hug. Mm, thank you so much. You are amazing. Uh, your work is great too. You did good.